everybody. Today we are starting a new series and we will be building a 3D printed RC boat. Now, this will be entirely 3D printed other than the metal shafts and the gears and stuff in the um, outboard, but it's gonna be all 3D printed. It's gonna be a really fun project to do, so let's uh, get into it. Alrighty everybody, so this print is done. Um, again, I've decided to do it in black other than silver because now I'm printing this in orange. Um, but this is the aftermath of the supports. So, not very fun. Uh, PETG is kind of a pain in the butt to get supports out of because it's just so flexible and bendy. But this thing looks shiny. I know you can't see it very well, but you guys will see it tomorrow. Um, I'll just kind of fast forward to tomorrow when this is done. And, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, it is the next day, and I let this print run overnight, and it turned out terrible. Um, the reason is we are using Matter Hackers. It's not the greatest film in the world. It's pretty dry, too. So we switched to Hashbox Red. This is really all we have and it looks quite a bit better than the Matter Hackers. Um, we now have this, the whale tail, and some of our other smaller parts. And right now we are printing the actual outboard part. Um, that should be done in about three hours. So I will update you guys when it's done. Alrighty, and just like that, are done with this piece um, it turned out okay I think there's a little bit of flaws in the design and they need to be fixed up but this is a rough draft boat this is not gonna be like anything fancy it's gonna be pretty bumpy pretty rough pretty choppy um, plenty of elephant's foot stuff like that so yes um, here's the old one definitely looks a little bit worse than this one only because it lifted but yeah, so now we are doing a 10 hour print and I will see you at 8 o'clock at night. We are two days in to the project and we have 30 minutes left on our outboard and I would say about nine, eight and a half hours left on the uh, center part of the boat. But this outboard is doing pretty well right now. She is almost finished. You can see it's just doing some infill, doing the support right there. Um, but once that is put together, it will be quote unquote finished and we'll be able to just kind of snap some parts together and uh, take a look at it when it's done. So uh, I will update you when it is done. All right, everybody, we have officially four minutes left. We are 98% done. And it is now just printing the little fin printing that little fin that goes up there but the print looks like it turned out pretty nice just got some supports to remove but other than that it's a pretty clean print And boom, just like that, 
our outboard is kind of sort of built. There's one slight problem and that is the quality turned out a little lower than I wanted it to be, uh, especially with the supports. Um, definitely one thing that I have learned and I kind of knew, kind of expected, is that PETG is a very hard surface to, uh, very hard material to break supports off of. As in, when there's PETG supports, again, they don't want to snap. It wants to just bend and break, or not break, but just bend. So it was very hard to uh, get those supports off, but we ended up getting them off and it's cleaned up pretty well, but I am printing a new one in higher quality. I'm gonna see how it turns out, but I can also just have a second one now. So, we are currently printing, like I said, this new one. Uh, it looks pretty much the same, but it's just going to take a little bit longer. And then here is the second piece of the hull. Let me open this up real quick. Here's the second piece of the hull. This will go right in the bow. So the bottom of it is the bow right there. And then going backwards. So then you might be thinking, well, that's flat. Well, we have this piece. So, yes, that is what we have right now. Wow. Hot, man. Hot, hot, hot. It looks like we had a little bit of bubbling on it because the infill was not um, tight enough, so it was doing a lot of bridging that wasn't really capable of doing so we'll take it off clean it up and I'll show you what it's like and boom just like that we got these two pieces glued together um, I found out a little technique to gluing them so you just spread some glue on this big piece put it on top make sure it's level let that dry it's fast drying glue like ultra fast um, and then you just put a little bead along spots of these little lines and just wipe it with paper towel immediately. And it'll put a nice, perfect, smooth line of glue on the beads and you won't even really notice it from the outside. Which you can notice it in the camera, but yeah. So this thing is going to look really cool. Again, it's going to be 21.3 inches, which is about 2 feet. So. It's going to be pretty sweet. Um, we currently have some props being printed. And then, like I told you guys, the outboard, I decided to reprint it in higher quality. And it is definitely starting to look really, really good.